And exactly why was I tripping again? Welcome back, everybody. So, I be tripping, y'all. I told y'all, I be tripping. <laughs> like, I'm an overthinker, and sometimes that is for the best. And sometimes people need to say, um, go have several seats. So, I had several seats today. <laughs> um, so, today I ended up calling my new mortgage counselor. So, yes, once I was moved to qualified, I did get placed on a place with a new mortgage counselor. So I, you know, wanted to call and just kind of tell her some of the issues I was having and um, also see if she knew of any down payment assistance programs that I could use. Um, so I went to go call um, them up and they answered the phone. To God be the glory, they answered the phone live. So I was shocked and called her by the wrong name. So I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I might like, let me go back and look at my NAC, <laughs> my NACA web file for your name. Let me go back a screen. And so, you know, I was scared because I was like, dang, we done already start off. I called her the wrong name. But she knows her stuff. Like she um gave me dropped lots of knowledge on me today um which i'm going to share with y'all um but she also is assertive enough to tell me when to be quiet and to stop talking so i liked that part that she was like stop right there like i'm not even gonna let you um ranch yourself down this rabbit hole we're gonna stop and we're gonna we're gonna chunk it out and we're gonna work on it so when I told her that I needed a down payment assistant, she was like, wait a minute, why? And I was like, the amount that I was approved for is just, it's not going to work. Like, there's just no way. Um, so she was like, hold on. She's like, because when I reviewed your file, I noticed something. And she was like, you need to have your HR department refill out your work verification form. They did not include your bonus money. Um, they did not include your incentive pay or overtime pay. Now I am a salary worker, um, but with my job, because you know the demand of workers that they need to manage these caseloads, um, I have since six months of me working there and I started in 2017, have been on a tier pay. So I get an extra amount on my salary for having above the average caseload. Um, so the average caseload is like 68, um, I said, okay, I will get paid this X amount of dollars to take a caseload of 80 plus. Um, so that's just on my salary. That's a salary increase. Um, but it's still considered tier pay because it could go away at any time. Now, obviously it hasn't gone away. It's been there almost four years. But this December, they were like, look, we're hurting even more. We need, you know, more case managers to take on even higher caseloads. So they offered, um, you know, if you take 25 people, we'll give you X amount of bonus money per month. Um, so the goal was that that wasn't going to last for very long, um, but it's, it's September now. <laughs> so we only have three more months in the year. Um, so they basically said that they checked no to those boxes so they could not include that additional income which is basically bonuses totally more than half of my salary um so she resubmitted the form to my hr department i called um my hr department and left a voicemail and sent an email to just say hey you know i left a voicemail they're resending this form and here's why they're resending the form um and if you could please fill that back out and check yes on the overtime and the bonus so they can include that income and she was like once they do that stephanie you'll be good to go you'll be back exactly where you want it to be so i was like hallelujah so um like i said i was like where there's a will there's a way and me making these phone calls definitely helps um 
because I'm not silent. I advocate for myself just like I advocate for the people I work with and for. So, um, so that was resubmitted. I still plan on buying down my interest rate because I don't want to, um, I just want it to be resubmitted so that that way I can look in the range that I need and then I can buy down that interest rate to pay even less. Um, so I'm still going to go with the down payment assistance, which she said, um, number one, I'm wasting my time with the home buyers, of course, because I already did their home buyer workshop, which was eight hours. Girl, boom, mic drop, like seriously. So she was like, I mean, you can keep taking the class if you want, but I can print out your certificates right now. That's why I told y'all, thinking 10 steps ahead is sometimes beneficial, but sometimes it's go have several seats because you're doing too much. Um, so I most likely will not keep taking these courses just because of the simple fact that why would I sit on the phone for almost three hours for the next two Tuesdays? So if I don't, I'm going to call, um, the place that I'm going through the classes just to ask them, like, do I have to have a specific certificate from you to get your down payment assistance program or can you use what I'm getting through NACA? So I'm going to call them today to see that. If not, if I do have to have theirs and hey, I'm already in the course. It's just two more Tuesdays. Like it's not that big of a deal. Um, but then also um, she told me because I was like the research that I did said that y'all don't really help <laughs> with, you know, down payment um, assistance programs that need you to be on their list. Like they need certain things from you. And she was like, first of all, for anything, you want to send it to us first for us to even approve it. Like you don't want them to start going through all this stuff. And then it's something that we're not even going to allow you to do. So typically with NACA, you can use anything that is a down payment assistance that you don't have to pay back. So, yes, they give you, you know, say $10,000 towards down payment assistance, which you can use to buy down your interest rate um, since you don't have closing costs or down payment. Um, but you have to live in the house for five or 10 years and then the, that loan is forgiven or they forgive 20% of it each year. And so by year five or year 10, it's completely forgiven. So they have to look at those requirements and the background of this loan that you're trying to get to even say it's good um, and that you can you know, use that in conjunction with NACA. Um, so yeah, I had several seats y'all, <laughs> but I am so excited. That's why I always keep a positive outlook because if we go into a negative mindset, you you aren't even open to trying because you just give up so easily. Um, so that's just one thing that I have worked on with myself for a long time. I used to be so positive and then, you know, life just kind of knocked me down a little bit. And so I've really had to be intentional about getting back to that within myself. Like we are always going to find that silver lining. We are always going to look for other options. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep fighting. Um, so I'm excited. Um, she even looked at my 403B um, about my uh, contribution to that. And she was like, you contributed this tiny amount and your job contributed four times that amount. <laughs> So she's like, where do you work? Because I want to work there too. So um, so that was nice. Like, even though I said her name wrong in the beginning, by the end, like she had me on the right track. And I love the fact that I called her. She answered. She stayed on the phone with me. She walked me through it. She didn't get frustrated with me. Um, right after that, I got a call from um, another person from the Cleveland office congratulating me on getting qualified and making sure I was registered for the um purchase workshop this evening, which I am. Um, and she even answered questions. She was like, I know the, um, a certain area better because that's where she's located. Um, but she was like, if you have any questions or anything, you know, reach out to me. Your mortgage counselor can also be a great assistance, but if you can't reach her, reach out to me. This is my personal number. So that was nice. And the fact that she also told me about the map that is on NACA's website, because 
the home I was going to look at on Friday, unfortunately, <laughs> my mortgage counselor was like, that's not even in an area that you can purchase because the median income was too high. So I was like, dang. Okay. I was like, why did my realtor not know that so that they could um, send me homes in the areas that I can actually purchase? Um, so she's like, you know, her and the other woman that called me both were like, you're going to have to be diligent about going to the website, putting in the addresses that they send you so that you know if it is in that area. So y'all, I'm just so blessed. Like you don't even realize that, you know, even though I was kind of getting down and I was kind of like, oh my gosh, like, why am I here? I finally made it. And now you're trying to throw a wrench in my plan. And, and all I had to say was, um, get back Satan. Okay. Because you were trying to derail me from my destiny. And all I had to do was make some calls and they cleared that right up. So just waiting on my HR department to resubmit that form so that that um, my original mortgage counselor can resubmit that to qualification um, so that that way they can update um, my mortgage amount that I am qualified for. So silver lining, y'all always find that silver lining. Um, I thank y'all so much for tuning in and listening to me. I'm sorry I keep bouncing up and down. I got rid of my desk chair and I got my exercise ball so that I don't feel like I'm being lazy all day um, and that I'm actually supporting myself. So part of my weight loss journey, which I will document that on here as well. Um, so look out for those videos. But as I always end, please vote, vote, vote. Make sure you're registered to vote. Um, don't let anybody speak for you but yourself um, and advocate that for everybody around you. Um, empower them, let them know that their vote matters, their voice matters. And you know, that whichever way that they feel things need to go, because I hate to tell anybody what to do, but remember your local elections. Like when you go out to vote November, it's not just a presidential election. Like you have house elections, Senate elections, judge elections in your own County. So please Pay attention and go to your um, local board of elections um, website and get that ballot because they will show you who is on the ballot come November and start doing your research. Make sure they align with your beliefs and what you want to see in your community. So I leave y'all with that. I'm charging y'all to get out and vote, spread the word to vote. I love y'all and peace and blessings. I'm out.